All right, how we doing? So as I promised you, okay, this is another, um, what do they call it? Like a sequel to this little dead series I'm doing. So if you're looking for like a quick video or whatever, you're not gonna get it. Now what I may do is I may pause this video and do like a part two of this particular video. This is dealing with how did we, you know, like uh, American debt and how did we end up, you know, getting this debt and also bringing out the truth and solutions. All right. So this is this is a class. All right. You need to know the facts about this. Let's set aside the religious stuff. You can make whatever videos that you want to make, no uh, gang stalkers or whatever. OK, but I have other things I want to talk about to try to help the community since you think that what I'm what a narcissist or whatever. OK, when I have this type of knowledge and I've been through it and I think that, you know, you're again during the last recession. And I think this is something that these anybody that views this needs to take very, very seriously. So let's get right into it. All right. So either you can listen or you can just leave. If you don't like what you're going to uh, you're about to hear, you can leave. All right. You guys that want to make videos about me and talking behind my back. OK. So. Americans. The American people. All right. That they are swarming in 16 trillion dollars of debt. All right. As of July 2022 okay which was a 47 percent increase in 2012 all right because well for a lot of different reasons okay and it's going to go up particularly over the next maybe six months because uh well during christmas and so forth it, it will go up so you'll probably get an update if i decide i want to do another video about this maybe in the spring okay so let me not, not name some other facts or whatever. Uh, the killers that are with this debt, the people are struggling with this, is credit card debt, school debt, and medical debt. Now there's some good credit because there's some people that need cars and homes and all that, business loans, then yes, that's some decent credit right there. Okay, but the three factions I just told you about is what people are struggling on. Okay? And you need to think about what's more important, but we'll get to that here in a second. Okay? Uh, some of the factors on this, particularly now, 3%, maybe over the last, I don't know, a few months of wages have been getting paid less. I don't know if it's more, more so you get paid less or things are just going up, but it could be uh, one or the other or both. Okay, we're also at an 8.5% interest right now. Um, I'm sorry, yeah, interest incre uh, it increased. So what they're doing now is they're raising, I'm sorry, inflation, 8.5% inflation. So what they need to do is they have to raise up the interest rates and they've already done it in July and September. Well, they will do it in September to cool down this economy, let alone the inflation. And let's talk about maybe like 0.5, uh, a half a percent, okay? Uh, some of the things that are not helping, although you do, if you do have a house, okay, but housing uh, debt is like a problem uh, because people are struggling, you know, financially. So that's what mainly they're struggling the most you understand because people need a place to stay, okay? So let me name some other facts here, all right? Auto and student loans, okay, are 33 to 35% of the problem as well, all right? So 33% for auto and 35% for student loans, okay, as a factor, all right? For student loans, Student loans over the last 20 years between 2000 and 2020 has went up 172%. Now, if you looked at the video I've done this morning about student loan and debt, okay, that explains you in more of a detail, okay? 
over half of the people that have student loans, I think I said 45,000, are only paying off just the interest. So the interest could be, I don't know, could be up to what, 20% or so, all right, for uh, student loans. A lot of people are struggling with student loans that have a uh, college education. It's supposed to be like, what, 50%? Okay, include you gang stalkers and so forth that went to school, okay, to get you a little degree in what, intelligence or surveillance or whatever, okay, even you pastors are struggling with that, so yes, you do need to hear it, okay? Low income and minorities are suffering, okay, and right now, if you look like me, we are suffering the worst, 115% of people that look like me has suffered because of these increases, okay? I, I'm sorry, 115% uh, increase, all right? What? Do, how do I want to say this? Uh, oh, yeah, I want to say that the, the loan, uh, these debts is um, increased 115% for black people. That's what I wanted to say. I'm sorry about that, okay? The ratio uh, to debt, like the ratio to uh, income and debt is going up, but the debt part is going up. You understand what I'm saying? That is going up because we're gonna have uh, unemployment, okay? People are gonna start laying off here in a couple of months. And people are, you know, and I just told you about the, the little pay cut, okay? So people are, are getting the six or seven law, uh, years uh, loan uh, car payments, but one to 2% which is not bad, okay, I have one, but it's like one or 2% interest, but some of these uh, interest rates could go up to like 14 to 20%, and that's where it's hurting people the most with the lower income, okay? Uh, some other things that people are suffering from, okay? Check garnishments, which is 7% of the working force is check garnishments, okay? Um, so that, oh yeah, and I'm gonna leave you with one more thing and then I'm gonna make a video about the solutions, okay? Or what could have been done, you know, if people would have done right with this money. Now I understand for some cases, yes, you needed your money, all right? So we'll make a separate video on that, okay? But 68% of this debt, which I just told you about is $16.5 trillion, Okay, it's also a problem with consumer spending because people just need stuff. People need food. They need gas, you know, for their, their necessities. So it's going to get to a point that you're going to have to make a choice for what's more important. Okay? Party. Getting fresh to death. Weave and all that other BS and so forth. Entertaining people. I know football season is coming up, but you're going to have to make a choice. You're going to have to make a sacrifice. All right? These are facts. This comes from uh, NBC News. Thank you for your time. Stay tuned. Again, I'm going to do a separate part on what could have been done and then some of the solutions that you can do moving forward. Okay. And you're going to have to make some painful decisions. All right. Let me know what you think about this video.